hi all welcome back so today in this video we are going to see about how to set security in the application okay so this is the sample application that we have been working on okay so here are the few pages okay for example one is the IT central page like where you can see your own assets your requests what are the different requests that you have raised okay this is the asset management page where all the different assets are managed this is the request management whatever the request user will create you will be able to see that request in detail here okay and take action on that and finally this is the IT matrix page okay and this page deals like how many like uh, monitor are there which are unassigned how many are assigned workstation headset now what we want to do here is that we want to set security for this application okay so when it was given in the uh, Academy so here the different security scenarios were given there for example one persona was asset manager other was employees and other was supervisors so these are the three main persona which is going to act on that for example managers had access into the who will manage the assets that are present there so basically they are talking about this asset management means I can add a new asset here as well uh, as an asset manager okay I can go and check a particular asset and I can update the asset I can remove that asset as well okay so that one employees should be able to see the asset assigned to them so for employees this is the IT central page has been created for the employees okay which are the currently assigned to them okay my assets okay and what are the requests that they have raised and what is the current status of that request as well so all these things they that they can see here and finally supervisors were there so who can see the utilization of the assets basically the IT matrix page okay so like asset utilization and how many requests are coming per day and what is the average time to close so like this all these things they are uh, seeing uh, here now we need to add the security so how to move about add adding a security in the application okay so first of all we need to organize our requirement in clearly like who is going to access what based on that only we can add users in the group so what I have done here is I have created okay uh, this requirement in the Excel like uh, what are my different pages who is going to access what if you see like asset management okay uh, managers can see the asset management page so this page will be seen only by the managers here okay next is the employees so employees will see the IT central basically all the asset that are assigned to them and all the requests that they have raised so that only that they should be able to see supervisors will be able to see the metrics okay what are the different uh, how it is going all okay uh, the current metrics in the system so that one they will be able to see and technicians should be able to see the request management so this is the request management for them okay uh, if somebody has requested anything so they can act on that any pending request are there if something is assigned to them so I should work on that asset okay I can update it or close the request if it is done so all these things I should be able to manage so in order to map this security into our application we will need different groups because security in Appian is managed with the help of groups here if you have the group access then you can access a particular component if you don't have that group access you are not so security is managed with the help of the groups here so we had already created some of the groups for our application see here if you go all users and admin users are like uh, every application needs to have the all users group and the administrator groups apart from that whatever the different persona that you are seeing here central page asset managers uh, employee supervisor technician for every one of them one group is created first of all IT technician supervisors asset managers and all employees that's it okay so all these groups we have created for them now these are the different users as well like who is having access to that particular users have we will try to add them so these are the currently user which are available to me I'd already created the user and now we will try to map that user and then try to log in with this particular user and then see that what actually they are able to see 
okay so now what we will do here is that first of all we will try to add all the users that we have created into their separate groups okay and then we will try to log in with each user and then we'll try to select whether they are able to access this or not okay so manager user is there so I will go here in my application and in the asset managers I will try to add them okay so this is the manager user is added here okay manager user that is all we need now next is about our all employees first step is what like we will try to first step what we have done that add users to groups all the users have been added to their groups now what we will do here we will try to logging with each user and we'll try to see like what actually they are able to uh, see as of now okay so first of all i am going to log into the manager user so this is my manager user and let me just sign in here okay so as a man okay so see this is also one issue like okay we are not able to go to that particular uh, page there okay because we will have to set it in the admin console that's also we will try to set it see here I logged in here with if you see here manager user but still I'm able to see all these pages but I should not be able to see all the pages here right okay so this is the employee user which is currently logged in okay so now I have logged in with employee user here and as an employee you can see Peter Parker is the employee user and even he is able to see all the different sites right so all the users are able to see all the different site why is it happening but we have only added them into their particular group only but still they are able to access all these particular uh, pages right so first step we have only completed second step is that set security set security in site pages so these uh, pages require a security of its own because what is happening here is that in Appian how these groups work so see if I click on this group you will be able to see that all of these groups are able to see but there is a second mode called as hierarchy mode if you see the hierarchy everything is under the all users group only every all the pages are configured and if anybody has the all user access then they will be able to access whatever is underneath that right so what we will see here so if you see that I will remove this one here and in no matter what application in which object you go here for example this site only if you go so even this site and all the pages of this site if we go to the security everything has the viewer access so at least viewer access all users have so they will be able to access it now we have to put the security in the site pages how we will try to do so let's try to see that go to the asset management and now we will apply the security in the all the different pages level so now it will be you know like accessible uh, all the site pages won't be visible to all the employees for example IT central in IT central who is able to access only the employees are able to access IT central page so I will go to only show when condition and here you have to use use user member of groups so this is the one and username username is going to be logged in user okay and next thing is the which group is they should be part of so this checks the group so what I have done here is that I have tried to create a constant for the groups all the groups constant I have created okay so this is my all group constant here and this is where you can see all the group so asset manager supervisors technician all employees all everything I have added here and added a description as well okay so based on this security only I will try to add in the site here so cons bank AIS underscore all groups that's it so IT central is for the employees so I will put it here four numbers because four number is here employees done now uh, okay so now what will happen is that I only employees will be able to see that one 
and now we will go to the asset management now asset is managed through the managers so we have to put the security for the manager group here so just put it here and now in the security I will put it here one so now this is for the manager okay similarly for the request management technicians were able to access the request page okay once you have added the security you can see that a lock symbol appears it means that they have the conditional visibility if user belong to that group then only it will be visible to them otherwise it won't be visible to them okay now it's time to test our security which is this user it is the manager so only asset management should be visible to them let me just click on refresh page here and let's see that what is happening here okay so by default like IT central they don't have access click on Appian okay and now see only no other pages are visible for what for managers only they are able to see the complete asset details only other than that nothing else they are able to see okay next thing what we will do here is that we will try to check the employees what employees are actually able to see here so employees as usual they should be only to see IT central so it is also working fine similarly we can log in into different persona and we can check everything will work fine okay one question might arise here is that manager is having the asset manager what if the manager itself want to raise some ticket right manager needs help it means that no matter if you are a manager supervisor or IT technicians everybody is employee of the company only so they should have the access of the IT central page no matter what is there everybody should have access to that one how we will cater this condition then because everybody is ha should have the access of the employees because they should be able to raise tickets and view the assets as well so what we will do here is that now we have to go in the employees group here see first of all let's go to the hierarchy mode okay here you will find that all users are there I will just click on groups okay so here if you see all groups are there click on this plus icon here now now here we can see that uh, different users are there so I have to go in the employees group now all the different groups are part of this employee group only so I have to just add them as a member here manager so manager is going to have is going to be part of this one now AIS after manager everybody should be able to access that part here and I have added all the three to them and now I will go here and see here oh this is the employee so no, no effect has been done on the employee space employee is still able to see only IT central only but if I go to uh, this site here this was my manager site manager is now able to access the IT central as well and they are able to access the asset management as well if I go to some other user let's say supervisors IT central they are able to see and IT metrics as well they are able to see similarly if I try to log in with uh, technician user so even technician user will uh, be able to see the same thing here so even if you see here uh, they are able to see the IT central even technician is an employee so they are able to see the IT central and request management specific page as well they are able to see so in this way like we have to set the security for the application that okay there is another way as well like security expression okay security expression it just checks that the security expression just check that if a user if user is admin okay then what you can show here is that then show all pages then show true it means that then true true for what true for all the pages otherwise uh, specific access they will require that's it nothing else so this was about the security session we have just tried to finish here and all these different site pages we are able to access okay at the last if you are looking to make this application we have the full POC covered here okay we have the full POC around 30 31 parts have been covered here in full detail you can go and create that POC on your own as well okay so that was all for now thank you